Okay, why did you choose Dubai? Okay, well, it's a great city. There's loads of great restaurants, weather's good, and there's no tax, and I don't like paying tax. That's why I moved to Dubai. Advice for somebody joining the financial advisory management industry. Okay, what advice would I give? It's a great industry, but remember it's a long-term industry. So learn the business, make sure you understand everything there is. Watch the markets every single day, read uh, Financial Times, headlines at the very least, Bloomberg, and just realize long-term. So that means building relationships with people and looking after clients. That's my advice. These questions, what about this one? Why does your company have a high heels, <laughs> tight dress policy with women like this still in the 1950s? I mean, who writes this stuff? Okay, well, we have a business attire policy for males and females. So just remember that if you're in the financial industry, when you see a client, you need to look smart. You only get one chance to make a first impression. So we don't insist on any particular attire for ladies or for gentlemen, except you look good for business. I always think that first impression is so important. Next. <laughs> why, in your humble opinion, I'm not always humble, eh? Why, in your humble opinion, does your company have so many bad reviews? Wow. Um, okay, well, we've got good reviews as well as bad reviews. So if you look at the internet, you'll find anything you're looking for. So if you Google sugar's good for you, you might even find something. Sugar's bad for you, guess what? It's coming up too, so you find what you're looking for. There's some bad reviews, sometimes the competition put those up. And there's lots and lots of good reviews. So ask us for the good reviews, we'll tell you how to find them. But Trustpilot, that's the one that you should probably use because if you go to Trustpilot, they actually check that it's a correct email address, etc. So that's good, and we got some really great reviews on there. Out of the tens of offices Devira are located, how ready are clients towards wealth techs? Okay, well, truth is, there's some clients are, some clients aren't. So uh, certainly the younger generation, they love the tech, and in fairness, some of the older generation do as well. So it's very individual. And you'll also see that in countries where the internet is faster, people are more likely to use tech. Some countries around the world where the internet's still really slow, and guess what? Clients don't tend to use it so much in those locations. Is it the future? Absolutely. Happy to answer the question? Please send me more questions. Next, Instagram. All right, let's look at it. Okay, how do you deal with a difficult boss that doesn't look up to you? Oh, wow, okay, I always struggled with that. So how do you deal with a boss that really you don't respect? Okay, that's tough. And I actually think that you need a boss that you do respect. So, okay, reality is you're probably not gonna change them. Should you change your job? Oh, it's a tough one. But I actually think you do need to respect your boss. So if you really don't, and you think he's gonna be there forever, or she's gonna be there forever, maybe you need to change company. Sorry about that, boss, but that's my opinion, all right, for what it's worth. Instagram, ask Nigel anything. Is it worth applying twice to the DeVere graduate program? Absolutely, persistence pays in life. So whether it's the DeVere graduate program or anything else, if you want something badly, yeah, twice, three times. Okay, so we'll get the idea that you're persistent and you really want it. In fact, I'd actually argue that if you really want something and go for it, persistence will pay off ultimately. So yes, reapply for sure. Another question coming up. How many new habits do you form each year? Well, every three months, I review my goals. So uh, daily I look at them, but every three months I sit down and I give them a review. So that sometimes means I need a new habit. And of course, I then try and put that into my life. So lots of things that I review, obviously business, also health, also fitness. So beginning of this year, I changed it, mixed it up a bit, certainly from a fitness point of view. And also some of the things that I do from a business point of view to try and make me more effective. So once a quarter I review it, doesn't always mean I change it, but I think it's always good to review things from time to time and form new habits to make sure that you're more effective. How do you find great team members? Okay, well that's so important. You know, in business, you're as good as the people around you. So Devere's as good as the people in the company. How do you find good ones? Well, I actually think that you need 
First of all, to try and get referral recruits. So if you have people that are good within the company, ask them to recommend other people. That's the best way to get good team members. If you can't do that, then it's of course interviewing people and just knowing how to spot the right person. For me, what's the right person? Certainly I like people that are competitive, that have got the urge to succeed. So they may have been competitive in anything else they've done in life. That for me is the best way to find winners. Find people that like sports. They tend to be the ones, in my opinion, that want to succeed. What advice would you give to a 20 year old wanting to make it in business? Well, I think that in this world, you don't always have to be first. So look at things that are making breakthroughs. Look at companies that have got good ideas. It doesn't have to be an idea that's good. Sometimes somebody else has already got the idea, but you can do it better. There's a great book and it's actually called Second First. And if you look at people that have been the most successful, they've actually seen somebody else with a new idea, but they've done it better. So don't think it's always new ideas. Look at what's trending, look at what's happening. Could you do it better? Like a 20 year old, I'd say keep learning. And also don't think you're too young. If you're good enough, you're good enough. You can be a genius at 20, you can be a genius at 25 doesn't make a difference. And you can outwork an older person too. Age or enthusiasm? I'd rather have enthusiasm. Of course, if you get both, then you're really making it work. Okay, for me, 20 year old, great opportunities. Great opportunities in the world. Take advantage of them. Be positive, look at what's working, do it better. Who's going to be the Formula One champion in 2020? Wow, what a great question. Lewis Hamilton, he's got six victories. You can't rule him out. He's got to have a big, big chance to win it again in 2020. That man keeps motivated. Max Verstappen, Red Bull want to keep him. They've extended his contract. They're really working hard on the car. Super driver, has he got a chance? Yes, he's in the mix. Ferrari. Long time since they've won it, but in Leclerc, they've got a fantastic driver that I actually am gonna go with to pit the other two. So there you go, bit controversial, but Ferrari to win this year. Wow, well, the fans will go mad. What do you think? Leave a message below on who you think is gonna win Formula One in 2020. Ask Nigel anything. Let's go for the question. When did you first become a USD millionaire? Truth is, I've got no idea. Okay, I've actually always wanted to try and become the best. So I've always worked on myself, tried to beat other people. I was always thought I'm as good as the next man and I'll outwork them if I'm not. So when I become a USD millionaire, sorry, no idea, can't help you. Okay, but I actually think you don't go for the money, you actually try and become the best. Money comes in any way if you, do, if you do that. How did you get momentum in the first three years of starting the business? Well, in Devere, I had to go and find good people. So I had to find good managers that could actually help me train and develop other people. When I first started the business, I just had to work hard. So I think if you're gonna get momentum, no substitute for working hard and keeping records of everything you do. So little business philosophy that I have, you work hard, find out what's working, and then do more of what's working. So nice and simple, that's how you get momentum. Make sure you're working hard and spotting the winners. Follow your winners and you will win as well. Are you going to any new countries this year? Mm, not sure yet. Um, we're always looking to open new offices, always looking to expand. I may well go to Hanoi, never been to Hanoi, been to Vietnam a few times because there's a Grand Prix coming up. So, okay, that would be good, beginning of April, quite fancy that. First time they've had a Formula One race there. New countries, as I say, De Vere's always looking to expand and certainly we are always open-minded about places. So if you got a suggestion where De Beers should open an office, put a comment below and I'll consider opening an office in that location. All right, well, no sorry, let's do that again. <laughs>